packaged food won't fight malnutrition. The Woman and Child Development Ministry has written to all states and union territories that there isn't enough evidence to support the use of ready-to-use therapeutic foods, RUTF, for managing severe acute malnutrition, SAM. This is a blow to the multi crore complex of international NGOs who push packaged food as a strategy to address severe malnutrition and companies that produce them. The WCD letter pointed to the concern that use of RUTF may replace nutritional best practices and family foods that children should normally be eating. It said this could impact negatively on continued breastfeeding in children older than six months and undermine importance of providing nutritional counseling. The letter referred to the Health Ministry's February 2009 letter that categorically stated that the use of RUTF for management of malnutrition is not an accepted policy of the government and that its instructions in this respect should be strictly complied with. Recently, responding to public health activists and pediatricians protesting against the promotion of commercially produced RUTF for treating SAM, the health ministry had stated that it was only temporarily helpful for nutritional rehabilitation and not of benefit to a common household in developing appropriate food habits for children as against home augmented food. The health ministry added that based on findings of SAM Alliance constituted by the government, it concluded that what was required was a comprehensive family-centric approach involving caregivers instead of a food-centric approach. Published studies set in India repeatedly showed that our UTF, which showed remarkable results in treating children with SAM in Africa, has proved much less effective in trials here. This had prompted pediatricians and nutritionists to write a letter to the PM cautioning against quick fixes instead of focusing on sustainable measures such as care support for mothers, clean drinking water and food security. International organizations pushing RUTF as a strategy include UNICEF and the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition, GAIN, whose donors include countries such as the US, the UK, Canada, Netherlands and France and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundations. GAIN also has alliances with multinational food companies. These international organizations have funded several projects and persuaded Statesto use pre-packaged, fortified energy-dense pastes to fight SAM. In May, Maharashtra floated a RS100 crore scheme to feed children a pre-packed nutritious paste thrice a day for 72 days. A private firm was to supply these packages bypassing the state's 1.08 lakh Ananwithas. Recently, Tata Steel supplied cartons of RUTF for distribution in West Singlam District, in a joint mission with the Jharkhand State Nutrition Mission and UNICEF. With WCD Ministry coming out against the use of RUTF, it remains to be seen how these international organizations and states that have already started using RUTF will react. This is not the first time that the WCD has pushed back against attempts to introduce RUTF as a magic bullet to address the issue of malnutrition through state governments.